Welcome. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at this Bikoi Woi tripod. So this was provided to me by the distributor, but they're not compensating me for this video and they're not reviewing it before I post it. If you find this video helpful and you want to purchase one of these, I'll put a link to it in the description on Amazon. And if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost anything extra. So let's get this open. Okay, so this comes in a carrying case. Here's an instruction manual. This talks about maintaining it. So you can pause and read through that if you'd like. And here are some other things to look at, some warranty information. And here's a diagram. It says easy to load, unload, 360, rotation, pan tilt zoom, center shaft knob, portable handle design, pin opening angle fixing button, rubber non-slip foot pad, heavy hook, has a quarter 20 interface. It's made of aluminum. This also comes with a phone mount. So it's a funny time we live in. My first tripod I ever bought was for a video camera, but nowadays a lot of people will shoot things on their phone, including me. So it comes with a mount for that. And then inside here is another adapter. So this is a quarter 20 to 5 eighths adapter. So the case has a strap on it. Let's open it up. And here's the tripod. So this has this anodized blue color, and this is the T150 model. If we look at the product parameters here for T150, we can see the weight is 890 grams. So we'll open this up. Here's the head. So to tilt this up, we'll loosen this. This has foam grips on all three sides for carrying it, or you can carry it with a handle. So that makes it very convenient. Let's close this. So to open it up, we make sure this is loose, pull it down, and then we can lock it in position by tightening it. We have rubber swivel feet here, and then we have these clips to extend this. So there are three of these. We have a hook here, so you can hang a bag from here to give it a little extra weight and a little extra stability. We can raise and lower the head here, so we'll loosen this up and we have a crank. So we can crank that up here. Need a little more clearance. Well, it goes up quite a ways and we can lock that in place. Over here we have a level. So to level this, you put it on the surface and then lower the different feet until you get that level and then you can know that your tripod is level. There's also a level here on the side so you can level it up and down. So that's a really nice feature between the two levels on here. You can really get the top of this level. So that's really nice when you're using a laser level. My laser levels are auto leveling, but you need a relatively level surface to put them on and then it will finish the last few degrees. So this makes it easy to set that. So this is for the tilt. Over here we have the pan. So we can loosen this up, can pan back and forth, tighten it down, and then the camera will mount here. So this has a lock lever, we'll open this up, and it is spring loaded, and this is where we mount our camera. So I mostly use my phone to record now. We also have a DSLR, but as a little bit of a throwback, this is my late 90s handy cam. So let's mount this on here. So that plate's on the bottom. We can stick this in. Now this was in, let me pull this up a little bit. This plate was mounted like this, but we can easily rotate it 90 degrees. And now it's in there secure. So now we can move the camera around. So that really takes me back. So this does have a little pin here because some cameras, especially like camcorders, will have a little indexing pin there to keep this from rotating. So we can also mount something like this phone mount here. So when you're mounting this in, you want to place it in the front first and then lock it in the back like so. Then this can also angle like that. So if you have your camera on here, you could be taking a landscape mode and do like that 90 degrees and now you're in portrait mode and then you can lock that down. So let's show that with a phone on it. There we go. So using a tripod is an easy way to up your game when you're using a camera. If you're not using a tripod and if the camera's not moving, if you have someone try and hold it as steady as they can, they're never going to do anywhere as near as good as a tripod. So cameras and phones aren't the only things you can mount with a tripod. Here I have a lantern. This could go on there. This lantern actually has a spotlight on it. So you could take this tripod and this light and you have a portable spotlight. And I have quite a few lights that actually have tripod mounts on them. You'll also find tripod mounts on scopes and binoculars. That's very common. And another thing you can mount on here would be a laser 
laser level. And this just happens to be made by the same company that makes a tripod. So you can mount that on here and that gives you a stable platform for your laser. So I'm going to put this in the ground and get it fully extended so I can see how high it will go. But I also want to know how low this will go. So I'll probably measure to the top of this base here. So we're at the lowest and that's probably right about 19 inches. And there are different ways to measure this, but that's how I'm going to measure it. And now I'll get this set up on the ground and we'll measure how high it will go. So to open this up, I'll just pull these out. I'll pull the legs out all the way, lock these in place. Okay, I have this set up. That's about 48 and three quarters. Crank this up all the way. And that's about 58 and seven eighths. So I'll crank that down. I'll pull this middle up here. I'll flip it up and I can pull all these feet in. So I actually have another video I need to film where I need a tripod. So I'll use this tripod and in the middle of making that video, I'll do a little clip of how I'm using it for that video. So I'll insert that clip now. Okay, so here I'm recording a repair video with my car. So I'm replacing these struts and I'll have to remove this. So while I'm recording this to hand hold the camera and remove that would be difficult. So I have the tripod set up here. I can put the camera right in here and easily record. Now I'll probably be replacing this with my camera holder that has a mic mount on it also. But with that quarter 20 thread, it makes it very versatile. I can put whatever kind of mount I want on there. Then when I go do the upper part, I can just tilt this up. I'll probably move the camera around to the side of the car and I can get a shot of the upper portion. So that's the Big Koi Woi tripod. If you're into video making or photography, you can never have too many tripods, but they have many other uses outside of those things too. I like that this is a full featured tripod, but it's relatively small in size. It fits in this small bag. So this would be a great tripod for on the go. So this is one I may kind of leave in my car if I'm going bird watching or something and I can mount binoculars here or a camera. It was super easy to set up and very lightweight. Now this is plastic and I know some people have some like really heavy cameras and I don't know how well it would fare with those, but for point and shoot cameras, small DSLRs, smaller video cameras, I think this thing will work great. That's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.